Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. I'm sorry subscribers, I'm going to disappoint you lever guys. Because um, I'm going to be hunting mostly with two bolt guns. One of them is my beautiful Steyr 9362. So it's really nice having a short, handy, powerful firearm. That's nice and light. And the other one is going to be this baby. Um, I've had the Fear 300 Magnum out a few times, but I really like this 35 caliber. And this is the 358 Norma in uh, in a normal rifle, uh, which is also known as a bar burger. So what are the reasons? There are so many people have moved into Whitehorse. There's a lot of hunters out there. And uh, I can't really predict what kind of shot I'm going to get. It could be nice and close and easy, 100, 200 yards, or it could be 250, 300 yards. And uh, really you want the bullet to still expand and have lots of power. And even my 405, uh, even my great 405 Winchester starts to peter out past 250 or so. And it's harder to hit without a scope. So I've changed this rifle around. I got a Huskama 1 to 6. I got the same scope on my 300 mag. There was a dealer here who had them on a great price. It has a, uh, it has a great turret. Also has a great reticle. It also has an electric dot, so I'll give it a try here today. And uh, my wife and I might go out uh, when the weather gets a little nicer, although it's a pretty good day today. It's about minus 20. And uh, I've also made sure this rifle is uh, cooled down to minus 20. Last time I had it out, I had some functioning problems, but I've since stripped the bolt. I think it's pretty good, so we'll give that a try too. But we'll sight this in. And uh, 358 Norma uh, keeps its uh, keeps over a ton of energy way out there, so I think this is probably the best rifle for long range stuff. Thanks. Way over there. Okay. So we uh, stopped fil filming because I forgot that Wednesday is RCMP day at the range. So we had some RCMP guys and they were shooting their sniping rifles. They're good guys. But it made it harder for a good film. So I took uh, six shots today to get the rifle sighted in, two to get it sighted in, uh, three to check the group's size, one for, and then the final, also the final sighting in. And then one to check uh, the 250-yard gong. So everything's checking out. I'm an inch and a half to two inches high at uh, 100 yards, depending on which ammunition I use. And uh, my hand load is with 250-grain uh, Nosler partitions. Really good bullet, about 2,700 with H4895. And I still find it impossible to really beat this factory Norma stuff with the 250 Oryx, which uh, isn't quite as streamlined, but... Uh, it shoots, uh, man, under an inch every time. So yeah, I think I think those two bolt guns will, will get the uh, get the go. And I'm also uh, going down in size for my binoculars. I'm just going to take start taking my eight by twenty eight Vipers. Now the reason I like the small binoculars is that when I got my big park on, I got my big park on. I, I don't like having a binocular harness. I like just taking stuff out of this pouch right here. And there they are, my little, and they just fit back in there and zip it up. There's nothing worse than, because you want to take your coat off. You want to take your heavy coat off. That's the whole thing is you have a lighter coat underneath here. And when you get over hot, you want to take your coat off. Like when you start walking, take your coat, take your big park off. Your big park is your outer layer. You want to be able to shed it. And if you have to take off the binocular harness, oh, it's just a terrible. So these little vipers, these little mini guys are the way to go. These vipers from Vortex, um, you know, I've got a friend with Swarovski binoculars. And uh, they're great. But these are very, very good. And uh, they don't cost $3,000. So I'm really happy with the, the vipers. Uh, I think they're almost as good as the razors, and again, quite a bit cheaper. 
Uh, but that Huskamaw scope has actually turned out to be a real favorite. I know they sometimes get some uh, grief on the forums, but uh, the tracking is beautiful. The reticle is beautiful, and having that red dot uh, when it gets a little dark out is uh, really great. And why did I go 1 to 6? I went to 1 to 6 because um, there have been people, uh, a couple people since I got here, one person back in Hay River, get killed by hunting bison or get badly injured. And uh, so being able to go down to 1 power when you're hunting something that could be dangerous is uh, really important because you don't want too much scope. So I had a 3.5 to 10. I got better groups with a 10 power scope than I am with a 6. But it doesn't matter. Not for something like bison hunting. That might ha might matter more for sheep, I guess. But even sheep, I think 6 power take you a long way. I might try that 1 to 6 on my 300 fierce and keep it on there. Again, because of grizzlies. Uh, the 1 power is just fantastic, as you can see. Just everything. And uh, it's probably better than having open sights. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll uh, take you along uh, as soon as we get a day. Uh, you know, it's it's getting down to about minus 30, 35 at night now. And so out of town, when you get in a valley, sometimes it goes down. That's a little bit colder. And uh, I really like using propane in that Arctic oven. And I don't want to get frozen out again. So uh, we're going to wait till it's uh, better than minus 30 at night. And then we'll go out, meet my wife and I, and we'll set up the igloo. Because we're going to go to a place that doesn't have a cabin this time. Uh, at least that we can use. So, uh, thanks for watching.